Hello everyone, my name is the Cyber Prime Resident Defending Universal Champion of the Boys in the Pod, and I am <laughs> Turtle Guy is displeased at this, but I am joined in person for this episode by the one, the only, the David. Did you hear that little jingle a minute ago? Bring something in your car made a noise. Did it? Yeah. Oh, Cyber, I did not really hear that. displeased because you heard it. Did I? I, I, Maybe I don't even realize when my body is like automatically reacts to like stuff. Just like, like, what was that? Yeah, it's like when audio gets polluted. My I do like the Johnny English micro expression thing without realizing it. But of course, as you can tell, I am joined by a box of donuts. But also, I am joined by the turtle guy. Hi. Hello. He actually waved. I can actually tell that he waved this time because we're in person. Really? Why? I didn't know. That. For what purpose? It um, you know, change the energy though. If I say hi without waving, it's just hi, and then hi. So I'm putting my whole body into this performance. I just tend to speak as if I'm talking, but that's fair. Whatever floats your boat, whatever gets you through the the pod, whatever blows your hair back, pal. Thank you. Wind usually. Anyway, so Windy. how are we all doing? Sitting in a car. We are. We're sitting in the Cybermobile. I, Not I, the I spaceship. Would... The spaceship is still in orbit. It's, well, uh, if Turtle well, Guy on the fire team it feels there's anything to go by, he knows no difference. Yeah, he knows no difference at all. That episode has been uploaded, so I can, we can't actually reference that. I was so angry recording Many that. episodes will be <laughs> uploaded by the time this goes up. That is also what true. What is this? Episode 15 nothing? Three? Episode two 53. Al- episode 211. Oh, God, the fire not... team of fools. That was called the mud bath episode. <laughs> mud bath. It was the most genuinely frustrated and angry I've been recording video <laughs> with Tarot in a very long time. That's like I'm I imagine... sorry, I didn't. What was the? I buried you. You no butted everything. No but it was everything. Your, your improvisational uh, attitude was stinking. Quite yes, frankly. and I agree that I did wrong, and I will never no butt you again. I'll believe it when I see it, pal. Yes, and I agree. Yeah, I know. I got, got it. I understood. <laughs> I understood. Yes, I got it. And I am forgiven. No. Yes, and <laughs> that's what you gotta do, friend. Yeah, fucking tell yourself. Listen, I've to you. he, heed your own advice. Yes. Your do you think the audio is gonna be asked in this or good? Uh, because it's not connected to the car, it should be good audio. But sometimes, if I ever do record anything and I accidentally keep it recorded to the car, it records through the shitty microphone in the ceiling and it sounds awful. Oh, that's good. But my microphone audio is generally okay. Well, I always record any any audio I have to record, like previously on or whatever. I always record them on my phone. Yeah, it does. It actually you know, does the job. And fun fact, phone uh, microphones are really good for recording drums. There you go. Fun fact. Just if you ever want okay. to uh, remake Whiplash. I have drums. We, yeah, we, we, could, <laughs> to re- we could do a Du Bois and the Band episode. <laughs> Eddie, play the drums. I'm kidding. We're getting the band back together. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, Turtle Guy's improvisational skills is... They leave a lot to be desired. So far. That was before I did an improv workshop. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Wow. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Why don't we put that to the test? Yeah. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Turtle Guy. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Where are we going? Cyber, give me and Turtle Guy a scenario. Okay, so you are on the International Space Station. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are... Lovely this time of year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you are both scientists. Mm-hmm. One of you can be scientists to do with um, the bacteria that's being studied in space, and the other one can be to do with the engineering of the actual space station. Okay. Because okay. presumably they need a mechanic, I could be wrong. Uh, but it turns out one of you has been secretly cheating on the other. One of you has been eating candy when the, you were meant to have an agreement not to do that. But one of you has been eating so much candy. All the time. And the only reason the other person's getting curious now is because mm-hmm. the rations are gone. But the other person is going to take this to their grave. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you know. You, or you, going to let you, you let you guys decide this. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm just working on some bacteria in the lab. Uh, hey. Oh. Oh, God. Why did you have to have a beer? He's <laughs> I said he did. He didn't have to be doing it currently. The, the whole point of this is that it doesn't give it away. I didn't need anything. What are you on about? Hey, hey, uh, Dr. Stevenson. Hey, Dr. Allen. How's, how's the upkeep on the International Space Station been going? Are we still uh, upkeeping? 
Yes, everything is keeping well. How is that bacteria? It's still it's still consuming the small pieces of lamb flesh that they keep around. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Lovely. Thank God that we're up here and not on Earth because this would demolish the entire population of the planet within three months. Oh. Wow. <laughs> so that sounds like a plot of a pretty good movie. Yeah. Um, so, hey, buddy, pal, I was going to eat some M&Ms earlier and I couldn't help but notice they were all gone. What the fuck? What M&M's? The one, well, that's the point. They're gone. <laughs> this sounds like a chat GPT <laughs> recreation. I mean, uh, I'm laughing at voices in my head. I've never seen those M&M's in my life, uh, Mr. Allen. Dr. Allen. Dr. Stevenson, I know you're full of shit, and I'm even worse than that. You're full of M&M's, all right? I can smell it on your fucking Dr. breath. Dr. Allen? Dr. Allen? Yes? I don't feel so good. What's I wrong? think the bacteria got in my system. Uh, Dr. Oh Allen! Oh my god, oh my god! Dr. Okay. Stevenson! Dr. Dr. Stevenson, your, your whole mid-torso is getting consumed by a flesh-eating bacteria. Dr. Dr. Stevenson, the contents of your stomach are spilling all over the, the deck. <laughs> Dr. Stevenson, those are M&Ms, you son of a bitch. Dr. Allen! Good, and fuck he's you. And kill me! No, I'll let the bacteria do it. I'm going to lock you in here. <laughs> M&Ms, taste the rainbow. That skills. <laughs> Stop it, damn it! God damn it. M&M's. People really are attracted to the green one for some reason. Oh, God. Okay, right. Well, that, they took her that, worked, that, that, that worked a little bit, I think. Um, Did yeah. I do good? No. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh. Well, I mean, you you tried. That's what matters. No, don't, don't frown. Don't pout. Don't be sad. You can always try again. In life. Until you die, of course. Whoa! Well, he just did. Didn't you hear? Oh, yeah, sorry. That's, that is true. I, Dr. Allen fucked me over. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh, I should have called you that. Well, you didn't. Well, wow. Your improv skills were not on the charts. They, uh, yeah. This just reminds me of the fact that I think potentially in the same episode as Mudbath, it comes, it'll come into the next episode of Fireteam and filled slightly more, but in the same episode of Mudbath, Turtle Guy improvises that he goes to a Dr. Um, Dr. Mike. <laughs> Dr. Mike. <laughs> Yeah, you just, yeah. You can just I just point off. out, improvise is a nice way of saying he ripped off John Mulaney bits for an entire yeah. episode. Because in that episode, he had he stole the Dr. Mike bit, and he stole the whole bit about John Mulaney eating Fruit Loops in an interview. Is that true? That's a, from an interview John Mulaney did, and there's a whole bit he does in his stand-up about him eating the Fruit Loops and reading the interview. So both those things were stolen Maybe from Jake. John Mulaney. Um, and he tried passing them off on it as his own. No. Also, that episode ends with me getting like genuinely angry. <laughs> yeah, I kept that <laughs> and in. And it, it cuts like <laughs> mid scream from me. But I was really angry. I apologize. It's uh, okay. That Just was don't, fun. Don't steal bits from Jonathan Mullaney ever again. I don't. You did. I won't. Sorry. Yeah, you won't. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I hear voices in my head They counsel me They understand well, They been, talk to me David, Sorry. have you been practicing any new skills lately? Um, have a murder turtle guy and leave no Have evidence. I been practicing any well, skills? Obviously he's not very good at it <laughs> I uh, If you're still alive, I mean like He's, he's failing takes, He's taking time I uh, Not really, no I've modded Fallout New Vegas There you go that sounded like a more complicated process than it kind of needed to be. It was much more complicated than it needed to be. Somehow, though, I got the game running. And that's... <laughs> took so long to actually get that to that point, but it's running. I'm imagining your, like, entire setup now is, like, the Iron Man cave in Iron Man yeah, 1. Yeah, that was me modding. I had to, like, <laughs> hammer my fucking... Yeah. Dave um, Kivo built this mod in a cave with a box of scraps! I've oh, been doing a little bit of... Uh, working on uh, GIMP. Because I don't want to. Oh yeah, it's good. Photoshop. Good software. I've been using that for all of my stuff. I just don't. You know, it's it's just you know little what, practice for like stuff. Painting. But... Yeah, you, you can yeah. you can use it for painting, but or drawing. But I use it for like I'd connect my tablet to it if I was ever drawing. But um, I just use it for a thumbnail thumbnail mm. creation. I tried it once and I didn't like it, and I went back to the old reliable Microsoft Paint. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could get that the anymore. Old Microsoft reliable. Right? The old reliable. I remember I was in distress when I found out they were getting rid of Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, what the fuck? Why did they do that? I don't know. But um, then I, I moved things to greater and better things. Microsoft ever From since. David. Sometimes I have good suggestions. Mostly good suggestions. Yeah. Sorry, but did anything happen to you? I feel like I generally Microsoft? have suggested good poop. stuff for you. When Microsoft Sorry. went uh, poop. poop? No, it's, it's also still pooping. It is an incredibly long case of digital diarrhea that is going on. <laughs> My whole work relies on Microsoft. 
So I don't know, but it always working for us. So I don't know. There's radio stations that have can't that can't, that can't work. There is a port in England uh, that's completely shut down. There's tr- the train network in England is also semi shut down. They got Sky News down. for a couple hours. Yeah, Sky News went down for a bit. Um, there's I think some airplanes crashed. No, they didn't crash, but they, some flight lines. I mean, couldn't take off safely. I think I want to say it was Australia, but I don't know if that's correct or Austria. No, I think it was Austria actually. Uh, um, but. Then there was also, um, what else was there? What else happened with the digital, the digital outage that is, um, Microsoft? It was a pretty micro hard situation, um, because everything got Microsoft locked out of out of everything. Yeah. Micro hard, literally me. And yeah. So, <laughs> does ever tell me what the hell's the topic? In this well, week? the topic is. It's a pretty of, iconic I'm topic. Sick of this it's a pretty it's a pretty small talk bullshit. It's a pretty important topic, but you have to admit, I think that that's some I think that small talk went a little bit more smoothly. Well, and yeah, cuz we didn't we didn't have Turo guy turn around and just say, "Let's do small talk." Let's <laughs> small talk. So small talk. Um So what's your small talk? But I I <laughs> Did a mouse just get tased in the back of the, in the, back of the car? Small talk. <laughs> Oh, I get it now. I get I it now. You Fuck so you. So much. Well, um... Acknowledge me. No. no well, Topic. We're, we're in person. There's one thing we could do. Strangle me? The fashion report. We could, but the fashion but report died it in a mystical yeah. fire. Um, and from the ashes! It boarded the CW plane. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. no one's going to get that no, joke. No, that's a real... Um, that's a, a, um, what's another word for... Fa- um, style... Um, so topic, what's the topic? What's so the topic, the top, topic, the topic oh. is a pretty important topic to style news. my channel specifically. The um, style news is boring, man. Um, it's I, what's another word for update? Report. Style <laughs> newsletter. Oh god, you're going worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's, man. Let him do the topic, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, so, I'll let him. I'll let him cook. So. Let's take a little jump into the past, shall we? Let's take a little flash. It's gonna take you We're back gonna to go the back past. to one of, if not the first. To play big the shooting games that suck at se- Angry Video Game Nerd. No. Classic. Uh, Classic. I don't think I ever watched Angry Video Game Nerd. When you used to fight Nostalgia Critic, that was a wild issue I ever watched. I, I never. I never. That's my Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, I didn't watch that either. But one of, uh, one of the most. Um, it's kind of like a, it's a, one of the first kind of debut good series on the channel, like that was from beginning to end a cherished memory. Oh, I love shit. it. I am very happy that we made it, and um, it's. Mm, no, it's a series. Um, it's a series co- why? Is there a series that we finished? I love when you derail. What do you mean? Is there a Are series that we slow? finished? What? <laughs> what do you mean? Is there a series that we finished? <laughs> Explain what you mean by this. Destiny still going? Yeah. Wait. Minecraft still okay, going? Okay, no, let's rephrase that. Is Destiny still going? No, Destiny 2 First is still Tools going. is done, you idiot. You didn't watch it, though. Oh, that's true. I did. I watched the episode I was in. Yeah, I knew. Of course, of course, of course. So, yeah. And the episode Nightmaker was in. Which one? Which one? There's two? There's, there's like several. four. <laughs> no, there's five. There's five. There's four where he's in the, like, actually a character, and then the fifth one is his email <laughs> reminders. Um, okay, but anyway, uh, uh-huh. in the series, specifically The Boys in the Woods, we kept playing and we kept making jokes and we kept setting up gangs that we didn't actually know were setups. And things that we just used to imply and that we found funny just seemed to kind of fall into place. And David is shedding skin. It's hot. So it is, actually. I might figure out another way. We'll be we'll be right back while I do some mechanical work. And we're back! You might be able to hear a small hum, but that's because the car Speed is now on alive. with... AC. AC. It's not Turtle Guy trying to cheat chess. Now, oh, basically, friend. this episode is going to be talking about everything that falls into place. And we can talk about that to do with the channel. We can talk about that to do with anything anything at all. The Boys in the Woods, if I was going to start, was a fantastic one. Because I think in the first episode, David says, we need to, why don't we try and find the front half of the plane? The last episode of The Boys in the Woods are very close to it. We find the front half of the plane. Yeah. Um, the Legman, we accidentally keep setting up as this mystical entity. And then eventually we actually fight it, which is an incredible moment. Yeah. I love, I love the names that we made for those guys. 
um, the devil's anus ended up being the place that we actually have to go into, or the devil's toilet or the devil's anus. Uh, both. I both. I think, both maybe yeah, I think we called them both. Yeah, we called it both. Um, loads of different things like that. There um, was. There was definitely more. No, there was one hundred percent more. Uh, the boys in the woods. The boys in the woods. Uh, just space. Um, Timmy. Kind of just generally, yeah. Um, wanting to kill Timmy, didn't we let Timmy die in the end, or am I misremembering? Oh, we did. Yeah. Otherwise, the ending would have been different. Exactly. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Uh, man, yeah. Just it, it basically it all fell into place. Everything that we were doing, recording every episode, things just happened to work out. Happened to be perfect. It just it was a fun to record. It was really fun because we had no idea what was going on, and we didn't set, we didn't plan anything, and it just came together as a wonderful story. It was fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what it was. There was definitely more. I'm trying to think of more examples. There's the finale, but I can't. We can't really say why that fell into place. The very last thing that you see in the boys in the woods, um, we even, can't explain why that fell into yeah. place. But it did fall into place. Huh. But even, well, I mean, you could also say like the fact that I was the one who picked that thing up. Yes, exactly. That worked out. Well. That worked out really well. Oh yeah, the fact that Turtle Guy didn't go to the main area and Hoover got bat- like glitched out and he wasn't able to follow, so it began with me and David and ended with me and David in the elevator. Yeah. That was a nice unintentional. Yeah, that thing. worked out really well. And the fact that we used the yacht as our base towards the beginning and then we ended up having to go back there as well. Was I found in the yacht or was I found in the ocean? You were found in the ocean. You were found in the ocean. That was a that was a fun little throwback. mischievous throwback. Which I think um, we explained in a different podcast. I think so. Um, there's also... Well, this isn't the woods, but I, I, I was trying to think of more for the woods, but there was one little fall-into-place moment that I thought was really cool. Was it actually in the first Fools? Oh. Where um, Turtle Guy explain. happened to be... Um, he happened to leave his controller down and leave for a minute. Oh. But it happened while he was standing in a puddle looking down. Sorry, I did lock his own the car. That's my thing. So we were <laughs> able to, like... Oh, yeah, 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 Make it so that he'd drown. And that, like, added into the, all the lore of already that about him not being able to swim and the fact that he had drowned. And it worked out originally. perfectly because then yeah. there was an entire season to do with swimming that we were able to play on that fact, and it was fantastic. Yeah. So, Trudeau, um, thanks for leaving in that specific scene that really well, added to actually, the character. there we go. Most, most of the things in my life is just they fall, like... Things just happen to fall into place for me. Fucking all of a lot of the Fire Team of Fool stuff that worked from falling into place. I know that's a whole separate it. thing we're gonna do, but yeah. the fact that I was too cheap to buy the DLC ended up causing... ended up working out in that like I was then able to just die. Yeah, that was the first kind of narrative thing we ever played around with. And yeah. uh, it eventually led to the lore then. Which is fun. Can which I give was a great. really cheesy example? Of course. We I love cheese, I love them. I think all of us like Maybe I'm incorrect in what I say, but I feel like us becoming friends and becoming the group that we are is because of a lot of things just falling into place. Potentially. So, yeah, I guess. Getting existentially heavy with it. I don't know, because it's just like we all kind of met and then like that we did. Hoover kind of came along. Yeah, I uh, brought Hoover into the fold. You're he a hell of a storyteller, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. pushed, he was pushed into place by Cyber. I'm playing know. my chess pieces. To, no, I, I, I know I, what the end game is going to be. I'm, I'm slowly the building. The reason I'm being such a shit t- storyteller is I don't know exactly how to say certain details. But I don't know. I feel like we all fell into place. Like a lot of, like I said, a lot of things with me just fall into place. Like, explain some. My like. Almost every theatre show that I've done has been absolute chaos and it just all falls into place. Like, it's all perfect at the end, nine times out of ten. It's just certain things just kind of not resolve themselves magically, but certain things just kind of work out. Sorry, the reason Turtle Guy trailed off there is because I was pointing at how high his things were. Cause because it makes sense for me and David's to do it, because the microphone's slightly closer to us. But I'm a Guy. loud individual, Cyber. I know, over this. I know, but now you're talking quieter than usual. It's fine. You can speak. You can be. What volume do you want me to be? Whatever is comfortable for you, my friend. I'll. You know what? I'll just let it fall into place. You let it fall <laughs> into place. Look at that. That's good. What? That's there was, the, there was, that's the improvisation training right there. That was, was good. I we like that. There was like a running gag we had in a series, and then it actually happened. <laughs> oh, um... something like that. And that was like a falling into place. Well, for us, I think it was get Johnson over here. Oh yeah. And in the, oh in yeah. The and then it came back. Yeah. Johnson came back then. <laughs> Somebody called Johnson. Oh yeah. I love that series. That, that was a really Dead underrated by series. Daylight? Dead by Daylight. We played Dead by Daylight. I don't think we've ever done Dead by Daylight on the channel, have we? I don't think we've ever done Dead by Daylight. 
No, not the, the fucking the <laughs> Choose Your Own Adventure, the <laughs> Wendigo. Oh, oh, wait, there's one. Um, fucking Hoover kept talking about Danny Boy. <laughs> oh yeah. And then he fucking was the <laughs> the only the survivor. survivor at the end. Oh, Danny Boy. Oh, Danny Boy. <laughs> oh, and the sailor lady. The oh, sailor lady. So oh, we, yeah. We've never seen that lady. Oh, yeah, no, it cannot be. The one that only David could see. There was definitely some fall into place oh, moments in that. In, until dawn as well. Yeah. Is, is the sailor lady in the room with us now, David? No, obviously not. <laughs> uh, obviously not. If he said yes, I would be freaked out. Yeah, oh yeah. my I'd god. Be, I would try to run, but Cyber I'd locked the door. about the fact that we're not in a room. We're in a car. Oh yeah, that means there's only one spot and it's beside Turtle Guy. So. Oh, yeah, well, you're fucked, Turtle Guy. What do you mean I'm fucked? You're sitting next to the sailor lady. <laughs> she wouldn't attack me first. Why, why, what? You, you should attack the person that can see her first. Yeah, you. I can't see shit. <laughs> Open your eyes. No. Open your eyes. No. Oh, incredible. I, I, what is he? I can't remember what he says in that scene. El Rata El Rata. Rata Lada. No, El Rata. Anyway. El. There you go. Spanish. Oh, but yeah, there definitely is more for the Choose Your Own Adventure kind of things. The Walking Dead has probably got a lot. Um, the, the piss. Yeah, well, I don't know if that's falling into place or just <laughs> m- ruining it. There, there, was a good there was actually a joke about There was We kept joking about him drinking piss, and then at one stage in the very first episode, Clementine turns around and says, I need to pee. And we <laughs> oh, all yeah. that. Maybe that yeah, would Maybe it. that was... Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, the Walking Dead kind of had that of we joke about a character doing something, and then... I can't... I guess, I don't know if you count this as falling into place on the previously on that time oh, where we yeah. start talking about what's your favourite way to get assassinated right, and then Carly a hard cuts shot, to Carly get shot. Yeah, that's good. That's oh, good that shit. was just perfect timing, uh, yeah. unintentionally. Oh, that was so good. Would you yeah. consider it falling into place or just a very well-timed joke? Well, that's what I mean. It's kind of on the bound. Because right? it depends what you mean by falling yeah. into place. Yeah. Um, Togo, do you have any examples of things falling into place? That's enough. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think of like ones, but the only ones that came into mind is just like us meeting f- or coming together and being friends, and then theater ones. I'm trying to genuinely think of like, um, no, I can't. I, I unfortunately can't. Are there, any, are there any more Destiny related ones, Cyber? Uh, well, yeah, from I can definitely. I thought you were asking that for Turtle Guy. I was like, he's not gonna. <laughs> I know, he's not gonna the, know that. Yes, the whole lore of Destiny um, fell into place. Practically, a lot of David's one-off gags in the First Fools are being retroactively tied into pre-existing villains, um, which is a fun little kind of thing to do. That David has caused practically all of the existing. Well, I'm glad to know that I am the problem. Yeah, it's very funny though. Um, another one for, um, I think specifically Hoover, is that every single time that David is ever brought up, he'd always say that he sounds pathetic, which kind of was able to be paid off that when David actually comes back from the dead, he's like, this guy isn't pathetic. Yeah. He's able to survive death. We're bros. Yeah, he's bros. Um, Bro. Uh, turtle guy, not being around specifically for uh, recording some of the episodes and season of the Seraph led to one of my f- the funniest gangs we've ever done which is turtle guy getting locked in an escape pod which i really enjoy turtle guy's giving a frown face which makes me think he's kind of leaning too much into his character at this point but um, what do you mean i i lived that yeah method <laughs> I, I actually locked myself in uh, yeah. se- sensory deprivation i mean fair play if that's what you did but you did not need to do that but uh, into space i went <laughs> But yeah, that, uh, and also the fact that Hoover wasn't around for one episode, which caused Turtle Guy to, we decided, you know what, Turtle Guy, now is Hive Magic, which is now a key part of his character that he has uh, Yeah, Hive that magic. was a big fall into play. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't be back. In yeah, the, exactly. Technically, yeah, or if you did, it would have to come a very different way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Turtle Guy having Turtle Guy having Hive Magic because Hoover wasn't there, so he got put in the box. Uh, is one of my favorites. The box trademark pending. Yeah, the box trademark pending is one of my favorite uh, aspects of Turtle Guy's character, and I, I really enjoy bringing it back whenever we get the chance yeah. to do so. It's not overused yet; it's only been used four times, but um, it's it's still it's, I like it's, it. It's, it's when it gets into double digits. Yeah, it's a threat. It's it's not always there. It's a threat. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a oh, I'm trying to think. Of, it's a, it's a deterrent. Yeah, it is a deterrent. Deterrent. It deters you. Yeah. Another one. Um, oh, I feel like there's one in Spider-Man as well. But um, 
Well, you mean you three idiots playing without me? <laughs> Did that fall into place? Yeah, I mean, that just felt kind cool. of. That was a very spontaneous decision. Because you told me about this. Like, I knew the series was happening. Yeah. My and- favorite thing is that when we did that, we were all in, like, our main PlayStation party, and we decided, right, let's record this, and as we decided it, as we... Like, I okay, joined! He joins the party. You fuckers he goes, away! He kind of has his mic muted, he unmutes his mic, he goes, hello? And then we <laughs> all, left. all left. At exactly the same time, we all left. <laughs> so, you must have thought something was up. But then he didn't know. He didn't expect that. Um, this is... It's on topic, but it is slightly moving away, but, like... Any of the times that I've done, like, surprise party things, you know the way when you want to surprise someone? Yeah. yeah. That always, sense. for some reason, whenever I do it, falls into place perfectly. Like, a person vanishes, and then we get <laughs> things set up perfectly. And even I fell into place for my own thing, because I'm like, I'm going to go up and do this thing. And then I arrived back, and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. And I was surprised. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't, that was not a you story. You didn't tell a story. <laughs> you're, you're, when you say your thing, what thing? What does okay, that mean? so, um... I will properly tell the story. We were please, this, please do. This was the second night of us doing Terminus, and I had been told to have a so birthday. You're allowed name the. You're just for editing me. Are you allowed name drop the play? Because you've never done that before. Yeah, it's a play. Like okay, gonna, cool. Okay, just a minute. It's a sure. play. Like there you go. Carry on. I, I turtle guy, being of sound body and mind, <laughs> allow you to use that name of that play that I did. Okay. Anyway, so it was the second night, and it happened to fall on my birthday. And then, so, I think, no, we only did one show that day, but we were, I was saying hello, and then I wanted to, I went upstairs to check on a ticket, and I thought, ah, okay, there will be no big surprise, because I was keeping an eye on everything, and just making sure that no one had snuck anything in, and then I checked on the ticket, I came back down, everyone had fucking vanished, so it was like this big hall with little corridors. And I was like, where is everyone? You were into the back rooms. I was, yeah, I was lured into the back, like, we're in here. And then I was I would not attacked. trust a voice that's like that. <laughs> yeah. I was attacked. This is going to be a mimic. It was something along those lines. And then I was like, cake. <laughs> but you somehow, like somehow, cake? Somehow oh. more details made that more confusing. Whatever. Um, <laughs> you went to the back rooms and then became a caveman hunting cake is basically... I uh, have one... The way I got into wrestling was kind of a falling into place thing. So people might know I'm a fan of wrestling. And one day I was up at a friend's house. You got randomly super. And I was we were gonna head out that night, but we were up a couple hours beforehand, just in the house, just hanging out. And I took a shit. And while I was (laughs) surprise came. So while I was taking this shit, my other friend was in the room, in the sitting room. He he had on YouTube, he had on this WWE video on YouTube that was like the Judgment Day, which is a faction in WWE, like all the backstory of them. Uh, this was all on the night of Survivor Series 2023, which is very important for the story. So I took my shit, I left, I went into the sitting room, and I sat down, and my friend went like, oh, we can turn this off if you want. And I was like, nah, nah, leave it on, whatever, we'll just watch it. Ended up watching it, ended up kind of getting invested in the Judgment Day. <laughs> Go out, we drink, come home, get a pizza, and we're sitting down, and my friend's like, do you mind if I put on Survivor Series live? Because uh, the main event is coming up. We're like, yeah, sure. My other friend was there, drunk as a skunk, trying to plug in on the laptop, <laughs> took way too long. Like, to the point where we were like, we're going to miss this fucking main event by the time you... So we were like... So we got up and we were like, step aside, plugged it in instantly. Like, it sobered us up watching him try and do this. He sits down in a chair and falls asleep. We stay up, we watch it. Now, we're sitting there, we're watching, and it's Judgment Day on one side, and then, uh, like, the good guys on the other side. So we're watching it, and, like, I know the Judgment Day, so I'm kind of invested in that. And then Randy Orton makes a big return after 18 months off. So that was like a big moment of like, oh, this is cool. And it's like everyone was in the crowd was all loving it. So it kind of was like, I'm getting invested in this. We watch the thing. The match ends. There's like a, an attempted cash in of the money in the bank briefcase. That's an exciting moment. Anyway, so then it gets to the build up. The whole match ends. And we we're like, that was cool. That was a really good show. And then CM Punk makes his big return. And CM Punk was my friend's favorite wrestler. So his reaction to CM Punk coming back <laughs> is basically what got me into wrestling. Because he, sh- oh, like, nice. as soon as the music hit, he stood up and threw his shirt across the room. He doesn't remember doing that. <laughs> <laughs> he stood up and threw his shirt across the room. He stood and rewound Punk's return like ten times. <laughs> we were there for an hour watching Punk come back. Really. <laughs> he sat down. It's such a small clip as well. And his reaction to Punk coming back to me was like, to me, I was like, that's 
I get it now. And then I got into wrestling from that. So that was like a fun place. Yeah, finally it's, it's that, get that, it. It's, it's like yeah, the Danny 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I get it. And then when we were going to bed, he was like, "Where's my shirt?" I was like, "He threw it across the room like half an hour ago." He's like, "Oh, I do not remember doing that." Uh, so yeah, that was like a little. I just fall envision him keep place. putting his shirt back on. Like know? the time, the timing of us, him watching that video of Judgment Day, so I'm invested, and then coming back and we watched the main event and like the Randy return, whatever. That was cool. But then the fact that CM Punk happened to come back that night was huge. So it was good. It was a good old show. Nice. Overall. I've got two uh, two more falling into place things. One to do that I think we've already mentioned on potentially the first ever episode of the pod, um, which is kind of bouncing off yours to do with friends, then one real life. Um, so the first one is, how did I get into Destiny? Oh, and that yeah. fell into place because one of the guys sitting in this car right now with me, uh, a man by the name of... Sailor. David. <laughs> Um, Aye, uh, was like, hey, you should look at you should you should look at this game. There's a new DLC coming out for it soon, so maybe maybe we could try it. And I don't think he realized the amount of hell that he accidentally inflicted upon himself. But um, he got me, and I was like, initially, I thought it looked really boring. I didn't like the idea of looter shooters or a game they had to keep playing to kind of get more stuff because I liked single player games and I like Smash Bros and Gran Turismo Five. I was like, that's kind of it. Um, and then I, I caved. I caved. And um, we got it together, and um, there were we decided to try it. And then I got so was it instant? It was no, no. I'll tell you what happened. Right, he looked into it initially, and he was bored by it. And then yeah. he obviously looked into it a little bit more. And one day I was like somewhere, and I got a tech, and I got fucking fifty-five tech. <laughs> Something and it was basically him cyber. being like, him being like, all right, well, let's all get it, and then like we'll we'll all be a different. Uh, Subclass and we'll all be a different race. So like, I'll be an same. exo hunter and you can be a, a, an awoken warlock and you can be a human titan. And then like what we do, and then we'll start playing it here and we'll do the whole thing chronologically. We have to play every single mission. And I was like, motherfucker, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? And then there was a giant timer. I remember that, and I remember. I don't think I've said this before, and I'm assuming you know this, but I actually don't know if you do. But once we got to that point, there was a time it was me and you. Anyway, I don't know if um, the other person was as invested in it at this point, mm-hmm. but um, we were like, let's do the raids together. Oh, yeah. And I remember shitting bricks one time because I did Vault of Glass by myself what before I did it with you one time. Uh, I did it with randoms and I remember being terrified because I just joined up and I was like, I don't know what to do and then I wouldn't speak unless spoken to yeah. and I was carried the whole way through. Um, but I had to l- keep up the illusion. I was like, no, I didn't do Vault of Glass and I never used the Vault of Glass weapons and then I think I forgot about them on my vaults the entire time of That's Destiny. Um, so yeah, that was it was funny. Um, I had to lie in subterfuge. But so we ended up doing it together. I don't think we got through all of them, though, because I never beat the Rise of Iron Raiden. I've, I've never even done it. I got to the boss fight the day before. There was, like, a timer that you had to complete stuff that I would carry over to Destiny 2, and it's the only thing I didn't get done. And I got to the final boss the day before, and no one would stick around it, and it was so annoying. So if they ever bring back Rise of Iron's raid in... You're not going to finish it. No, I am, but that's my end game. That's my uh, that's my Cyber redemption arc. Cyber has to finish that raid. Exactly, that's my redemption arc. If I beat that raid, that redemption. will actually that will mean more to me than I think people will realize. That's the actual like from a gameplay. I don't care about the story about it at all, but from a gameplay perspective, I need it. I need to get it done. I want to get it. Um, done. I want to get it done. Okay, I think I, I actually have a story. Then finish it. I will. Well, <laughs> funny that you mentioned that. So. um... Last, no, not even last. So, October of 2022, uh, we were doing... So, this is a theatre story. And we had to form three pitches. We had our first show, which I said previously was Terminus. Our middle show was a King Lear. That was always in flux. And it's the last one that I've been keep going on about that I met. But the way that that came about was a real fall into place kind of thing. Because we originally had it that, oh, it'll be a family show, kids show. What are we going to do? We were told that most previous ones were fairy tales. So me and two other members got on a Zoom call and we were like, right, what should we do? And then the two ideas that were mentioned kind of at the same time was, oh, we should do like maybe legends and maybe like a superhero thing. And then someone else said like, oh, it should focus on the environment. And when both of them said those two things, it all clicked in my head of like, holy shit, I know how to do this. <laughs> it all just kind of clicked in my head. And then a couple of days later, I was like, I have the whole idea. And I ripped something down furiously. And I don't know. Is that is that falling into place? It just kind of all funneled. I would say so. I it it funneled into all of these ideas just funneled into my head. 
I guess that makes sense, yeah. And that's how that fell into place. That's the way the news goes. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Yeah. My other falling into place story is to do with me in the real world, believe it or not. Oh. Um, I play a lot of music. And I originally didn't want to play the instruments that I wanted to play. The first ever instrument I wanted to play was the flute. So I, I went to try and play that, and they told me that my fingers weren't long enough at the time. And then they were like, let's try something else. And then I was like, let's play the trumpet. Because uh, trumpet goes, Whoa. And then I the I played the trumpet, and uh, they were like, no, your lungs aren't developed enough. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, you got fuck. a fucking next, right? Okay, but fair. <laughs> so then I um, I tried another one. I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll try the clarinet. Um, so then I played that for <laughs> a bit. Locks over here. And um, they were like, you know what? This sounds pretty good, but why don't you come back next year and we'll see if you got a place for you. So then I did that. I waited, came back next year, played the clarinet, and I swear to God, that is like the cheat sheet of music because when I learned how to play the clarinet, it's trickier than the saxophone because you have to fully cover the the holes and stuff. But when you go up the octave, same exact notes as the saxophone, so I could jump over the saxophone easy. When you play the saxophone, it's almost identical to the flute with some small differences, and it's is all the same in all the other saxophones, so I can play all every saxophone, and uh, it practiced my lungs a bit more, so I can play the bagpipes, and uh, yeah, and then I just ready, ready piper. Or yeah, whatever. literally, um, I have played them before. They're really fun. They're very difficult, but it's how fun. do you play the like? Uh, you have like they have the fingers of the, the holes, fingers. but then you also have to uh, make sure you hold it. Is there a certain way that you press down on it? Slightly, yeah. I think it, the faster you go, the more the volume goes. I have literally, I played it once. Uh, years and I was the only one in the orchestra that was able to play it. It was a very big bragging moment for me. A but bagging moment. A ba- yeah. yeah! More like the bloody brag pipes, pipes am I right? Exactly. Uh, I don't, although I don't... I, I that's I mad about the, your fingers not being long enough. Because my sister yeah. used to play the flute and she's fucking tiny. She's the smallest hands on the planet. She's that's like five what they foot told tall. Me. That's, that's what they told me. Unless they were they lying. Just, yeah, Unless they just didn't want to give me a flute. You. And they're like, oh, this they guy They really doesn't. needed a, a boost in clarinets. And that's where we're like, oh, the fingers too long. Oh, you got no lungs. <laughs> you got no lungs. <laughs> you ain't got lungs. I mean, maybe that maybe that is. They, they really needed a boost in clarinet. They, they saw you and went, clarinet. Potentially. Potentially. Because maybe they just needed to just increase the section. Who knows? Who Cyber knows? question. Uh, I turn a guy answer. Does the instrument match the person? Do you see a person and be like, they play bagpipes? Well, if they're wearing a kilt, it's probably a big giveaway. <laughs> um, <laughs> a kilt, a big sword. I want to say no because I exist because I don't think I look like a drummer and I play well, drums. You play all instruments. Exactly. Part so part two. I, I, Okay, there's probably more than two that yeah, I don't play. He's probably some like obscure like, I haven't, African tribal I, yeah, I, I haven't played the lute. Yeah. Uh, I have played the um, but, um Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. There's probably more than two, but I don't think that really looks. I don't think you can judge an instrument by a player, but you can judge a person. Or you can kind of predict the person by some slight details. So you can see a guitarist usually if one of their hands fingernails are longer than the other. Because uh, that works for finger picking. Could be a cokehead, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's yeah. A, that's who are musicians. And oh, right. generally, what um, is it? the the grandpa in the old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, he had really long nails, so maybe he was a guitarist. Yeah. Or that's the other thing. Probably what it was <laughs> <laughs> the other thing. I'm sure, it was guitar. <laughs> that, that, this no, let's just assume it was guitar. It's be wholesome. It's guitar. <laughs> um, grandpa awesome. Joe definitely played guitar. Grandpa Joe, wasn't it? You can also tell on some people, um, it's kind of on mine, but not everyone's. The on your right thumb, if the side, the inside of your thumb knuckle has slightly harder skin than the outside, it's because there's a lot of pressure of supporting wind instruments like saxophones and clarinets. So that's why that happens for me. And also, no one can see it, but if you ever feel it, which no one, you guys, hopefully you guys never do, but inside the bottom of my leg, <laughs> <laughs> hand it over. That was a great visual gag. Bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We all lunged for Cyber's lip. Uh, inside the bottom of my lip, you can actually permanently feel um, the ingraining slightly of my teeth because yeah, in order to play saxophone playing it, you have to roll back your bottom lip over your teeth. Create, uh, Is cushion. that uncomfortable? No, not at all. Um, like, it's it, it's really not. So, yeah, that's kind of it's some weird things. But I have another fall into place, but I am well, aware good that David hasn't. 
said a story in a hot minute, so I open the floor to you, David. Jessica, are you really like to make this like a political discussion? You really like to make everything perfect, to make everything like polite, mm-hmm. um, which is very out of character sometimes, but... I'm learning. You are, I guess. I'm evolving. People grow! <laughs> I... <laughs> Proceeds to <laughs> just, just get giant. There's a mushroom for me. I. <laughs> I shrink. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> I. <laughs> slightly expanding on the destiny thing, falling into place. Whoa. Uh, the fire team of fools specifically. The whole me being too cheap to buy the DLC was obviously a thing. But like the fact that I just happened to offhandedly do a Harrison Ford impression in one oh, yeah. episode. Like the look of the draw of that. Because I had watched a video about Harrison Ford that day. And so it was in my head. Yeah. So if I hadn't have done that, I don't think I would... Like, maybe... Like, the, like, the way we had to write me off would have been totally different. But it would... It, it also might not have even been a storyline thing. I might have just stopped playing the game. Yeah, that was that probably would have happened. But it wasn't just that you did an impression. It's that you did an impression, but then you made a gag that he was your roommate afterwards. And it wasn't yeah. actually you doing an impression. Oh, yeah, he was... Harrison was actually, Ford yeah. was living in your room. And then it evolved into him living in my head. Yeah, and you were lying about it. It's and then we made a joke about, like, he was some, like, eldritch being. And that's where <laughs> Harrison Gagoth came from. Exactly. The first the first villain of the film. Yeah. Course. It's just weird how, like, the joke evolved into, like, a storyline. Exactly. It's, um, it was perfect. And the fact perfect. that instantaneously... This perfect. is probably the biggest fall into place. Um, with fo- the fire team of fools in terms of David. Is that the expansion that came out after... David was removed is Shadow Keep, which is about nightmares of representing your trauma coming back and appearing. So we were able to bring oh, yeah. David back as a nightmare oh, for an arc. That worked which out. worked out perfectly. It was great. Also the, all the stuff I wanted to do and the other ones I like <laughs> missed out on because I was dead. Like yeah. that worked out weirdly. That well. was so funny. It's killing great. dragons and gods and shit. Like those are the things I wanted to Seeing do. Seeing ghosts on the moon. Seeing ghosts on the moon. It was perfect. Yeah. Don't worry. You might have a vampire in your future. Yeah, well, that's... Uh, that sounds like a threat. Are you a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> um, I had another thing in my head, but it's, it's kind of left my brain, so I'll let Turtle Guy tell his... I'll, I'll cover you and until you are ready to rebuttal. We, no, we got that. We, we, we didn't it. need to explain. So, <clears throat> my love for a certain science fiction television show <laughs> is well known. It's and so that, well known uh, you yes. get mad at me. Halo. Whenever, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, go to so. Apparently it's been shopped around, so we might actually continue. I didn't apparently yeah, I didn't realise that though, but no one's taken it. No one well wants of it. course. The show I am on about is of course Doctor Who. However I was so it's actually a little similar to David's oh WWE God. Sorry. story. But um so I need to make sure I get it. So in New myself. Year's Day, two thousand and ten Around about the time when a certain beloved Scottish actor, David Tennant, was leaving, apparently, so he claims, my brother was a fan of Doctor Who. I call bullshit, because as soon as I got into it, he dropped it like a hot rock. But basically, I watched the f- the last ever episode, the whole thing of David Tennant's last episode, which is a two-parter, I don't know why I watched the last bit, but um, I watched it and I was instantaneously hooked. And then I think shortly after they had a crossover episode with a show that I was already watching that I didn't know was a Doctor Who (laughs) spinoff. And ever since that day, I have been hooked to Doctor Who. There there have been dark moments where I've I've abandoned it and let it go. But um, yeah, that just kind of fell into place that my brother was watching it, I watched it, and now I, I, I love it ever so much. Very nice. And you completely reminded me of potentially the biggest one in my life. When I was but a child, when I was but a small little droid of, I think, one year old, two year old, or three years old, like really young. You had one or two batteries in. I, for the measure years. I was just a general child. I was a cookie cutter. I was, I was a colonel child. I was, a, I was a baby. I didn't <laughs> get up that rank yet. <laughs> I, was a I might have child. actually been privates, actually. But um, I was just a normal kid. And potentially I would have grown up as a uh, banal, generic. Starting vanilla, vanilla. yeah, potentially kind of child, but David's caramel. I'm mint chocolate. I don't want to be caramel. I, I hate caramel. Why would you describe it? Okay, so I don't know. What I'm, I'm also the whitest person in the car right now. My... I look like an albino. Oh, I'm actually quite red. I was outside. Sorry, we're all comparing skins. We're comparing Sorry. skins. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you look oh, very whoa, milky. Guy. Guy's very milky. Yeah, I am milk. I'm blonde. I'm, 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 
I'm, bl- I'm blonde though. You should have seen Turtle Guy today though. He, he carried. He, oh he man, carried, he three whole liters of milk. Holy shit! It was shit. a drum of a drum milk. Honey after a while. Get over it, bitch. Anyway, uh, I <laughs> um, was a normal kid, and I went over to visit my I'm granny, and it turned out that my granny had just gone to a a car boot sale market thing in the town the day before and she got me a gift very nice as grannies do and it was like really cool I was like oh yeah my granny has something for me and my granny my granny made the worst mistake potentially of her entire life <laughs> she pulled she pulled the suplex on you no no <laughs> it's not wrestling okay I know my granny bought me a toy gun this was gonna be uh, saved for I think an episode David wanted to do with toys but I can always yeah. tell you again I but, think you have told it before anyway. Have I? Oh, well, yeah. shit. Okay, never mind. I'm just repeating topics. So I'll high speed this through this, but uh, de- she bought me a knockoff Transformers toy. And from that day on, I watched nothing but Transformers. I thought of nothing but Transformers. I designed little sketchy Transformers. I... Sketchy Transformers! <laughs> Dodgy Bumblebee with a little with a, with a trench like... coat on and a hat standing in an alley. I meant I wasn't good at drawing them, but I drew them. Optimus Prime the f- uh, anyway, What um... the fuck? So yeah, if it wasn't for that toy, I would not be the same person. I, I might just be Cyber. No Prime. Because that is, in well, case that, anyone is somewhere doesn't understand, that is the inspiration for the name. I thought you were a big Logan Paul fan. No, 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 no. Uh, never, I never actually tried Prime. No, I got I've, it. I've tried them all. All you've tried them all. All of the ones that are available. So or Turtle Guy paid like fifteen quid for one, which is crazy. What? Did I? Yeah. You know told what, me that. You know what else? You paid like 15 quid. No! Nah, <laughs> no! That's over a year ago now. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. The oh, mystery box. The mystery box. Um, we should have a... I actually have a couple episode. of like, really quick ones if I can Go rattle them off. Yeah, well, I don't know if these are really kind of falling into place, but it's it's like weird coincidences. Um, and they're all about the same thing. The song Cult of Personality, which is also a wrestling thing. <laughs> oh. uh, once, the first time I ever heard about... So that song is an actual song from the 80s, but it's also uh, oh. wrestler CM Punk's entrance music. The first time I ever heard about CM Punk, my friend, the same friend who threw a shirt across the room, and I were in the pub, and he was telling me about wrestling, he was telling me about CM Punk. So we were talking about Punk for like half an hour, and then we went up, got another drink, sat back down, and as we sat down, a song started to play, and of all songs, it was Cult of Personality, which I thought was really weird, because <laughs> I'd never heard the song before, and he said that it was specifically CM Punk's theme song. It's not exactly a popular song to play in a pub, and I haven't no, heard it there since. It's good, though. The next one came, and one time, me and that friend again, we were just chilling out one day, we were playing GTA San Andreas, and we were flicking around, we were just driving around flicking through the radio, and he just, like, offhandedly went, play Cult of Personality, like, as a joke. And the very next song to play on the radio was Cult of Personality. Very <laughs> weird. Very, very strange. It's learning. And, uh, yeah, just some interesting... The evil AI little... is hiding in GTA it's, San Andreas. It's, it's, it's... But also, <laughs> interestingly enough, in terms of falling into place with Transformers, when I was younger, I saw the Transformers movie, the live-action one, in the cinema with my dad, and we had a great time, and I was really excited, and I wanted to watch more Transformers. So I said to him, Father... Obtained me Transformers Father. So he bought me The G1 movie on DVD But he also Very Very Legally Downloaded Some stuff And one of those things was Transformers Beast Wars Which Was Big for a lot of reasons I, For it, One of the first things You and me ever bonded over Cyber Was that is true. Transformers Beast, Beast Wars, Wars yeah. Because I was like This is crazy That I've met someone else Who's watched this <laughs> Show <laughs> But also for me It was a big Like creative influence because as a child, I thought the whole mysterious element of it was, like, fascinating and, like, kind of creepy and cool. And to me, I was like, I like that idea of, like, they don't know where they are and they're trying to figure stuff out. And I was like, that's kind of led to me trying to come up with stories like that. So that kind of... So Beast oh. Wars is kind of a big awakening. creative inspiration. Fell into place because my dad happened to download the first Transformers thing he saw illegally. <laughs> illegally, 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 illegally. Your uh, honour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, Beast, uh, Beast Wars up. crawls so lost could, could yeah, fly. Yeah, in a lot of ways, Beast Wars was the original loss. <laughs> oh man, 
but yeah, that's that, that's a lot of things falling into place. Yeah. And another thing that fell into place, or may, should I potentially say never falls into place, <laughs> is the boys in the pod. Because <laughs> when was the last time you've seen all of us? Probably episode 50, but Who how long is it still taken? alive, we swear! It's like the running joke of the boys that there's never been seven members of the seven. <laughs> <laughs> like, since Translucent blew up. <laughs> that is, yeah. Yeah, but the boys, we are still the boys, we just haven't uh, collectively... Uh, combined in an episode for in a while, but potentially you've seen you've listened to us in a, uh, recently if uh, episode fifty ever gets made. But we'll, well see. That's the one that will have four of us. So this yes. this won't even really make sense because that episode. Not at all. Will, this is backwards. That episode will probably be years in the future. Well, but I hope it's not years. But no matter what happens, it'll have more of a reliable sed- schedule. Schedule. <laughs> it'll have more of a reliable schedule. Schedule. Then. Everybody's favorite Shit, you're down series, now. The Boys in the Blocks. The Boys so, in the Blocks. Thank you all so much for listening. I am not referencing any other series that people might want because there's no point in referencing something that's dead. It's not dead. It's pretty dead. Well, okay. The I, last episode was a. I think The ago. Boys in the Blocks is still alive. Thank you very much, Turtle Guy. I think The Boys in the Blocks is still good. What are you referencing? Nothing. Move on. Okay. I rescind my time. <laughs> well, I have been Cyber Prime. This has been Du Boys in the Pod. Please rate and like and support us in any way you can. Um, on any platform, whatever you're listening to this, I think it's down to two potentially because Google Podcasts has unfortunately passed away. Recipes um, to the real one. And I still we're never on Amazon. <laughs> I, I don't know. I put us on Amazon, but I don't know if we're still on Amazon because <laughs> I don't have Amazon Podcasts. So if you're listening to us on Amazon, let us know somehow. Um, Letter. We're, we're definitely on Spotify. Um, so if you're listening to us there, we're practically a Spotify original, but I don't know if we are or not. So Guys, if, if you're somewhere. listening to this on Amazon, I'd like you to go to <laughs> the Boys in the Blocks episode three and comment below on that video and say, I was listening to the podcast on Spotify <laughs> or on, on Amazon. <laughs> I don't want you to go over I, I, I don't, exactly like I, that. I don't want you to go over there and tell me a lie. Tell me the truth. I'll be keeping an eye. I'll be checking in every day at noon when the sun is highest in the sky. Like Will Smith and I Am Legend. Oh, what a legend. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have been joined by David Kivel. You can find him in the comments. Not the comments, the description. You can find, <laughs> well, actually, you can find me in the comments of episode three of The Boys in the Box. Yeah. We are here. That's where he we lives. are waiting. That's how you can communicate Whoa, with David. <laughs> Yeah, if you ever want to get direct contact with me, that's the video to do it. I have also been joined it. by the Turtle Guy, who just gives a thumbs up, and um, you can find him in the description as I well. Check out his I channel. Didn't want to interrupt you. Um, he, he makes some cool stuff. I do. And on you can also find me if you are curious on my channel in the description as well. Or if you're not curious. And if you're not curious, hey, you can just. What if you're go furious? If you're go there too. If you want to hate watch the channel? Fine by <laughs> yeah. me. Go for it. Hey, uh, I may I suggest starting with the Borderlands if you're if you're planning oh, to really, hate. That'll really that'll really get you riled up. Oh man, I think yeah. Ooh. Yeah, mm. you oh. know another one of the Finnish series is on the channel. Talk, I'm gonna hit you. How is the Lego off. Christmas calendar series doing? How's anyway, Turtle Talks doing? It's still alive. God no, damn it's you. not. You're full of lies. How is the PlayStation Five? Review? No, PlayStation Five Watch. I had had one episode and then I found it, the PlayStation. I think I- you didn't even. <laughs> <laughs> world's world's shortest treasure hunt. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you didn't even do a video that you got it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I think it's implied. <laughs> You have one video of gameplay. Okay, that's like saying it's implied that you got a PS5. It, you could also say it's implied that you were fucking killed because the video is just stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. We kick him off. Anyway. I'm done. No, no, kick so thank you all okay, so much you, for listening. If you disagree with this sentence, that means you're off the set, off the off the series. Okay. Do you agree or disagree? Can I refuse to answer? No. I don't think that's... I agree. Good. All right, so if you agree with this that sentence, you're off the series. You've got three episodes left, Boko. Again? <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're back on a life support. So, Turtle Guy's got three episodes left in the boy in the butt before we permanently remove him. Again? Again, yes. yes. You permanently remove me. You think that'll just be a... Uh, yeah, we're going to... Re- you got to retire. 
I don't gotta retire, never. You gotta retire. I think it, I think a podcast between me and Cyber would be a okay. Like I think so too. With me. I think it'd be yeah. a pretty good podcast. I'd listen to it. Yeah, I think it'd be. Uh, I it. think it'd be pretty cryptic, you know. If we just recorded uh, our three a.m. conversations in which we frighten <laughs> each other, yeah. Honestly, that would probably that'd be get a good you. podcast. Gentlemen, we can actually we, we cannot leave this area. We are parked in. What do you mean? We're are you fucking it. dumb? <laughs> We're Turtle guy. It. Two of you guys unaware that there are two exits to the place that, that is the entrance, good sir. What a Thank you all so much for listening. Uh, as you Black can tell, Kennedy. the endings have not fallen into place yet. We haven't been able to nail a good ending. We oh, we're free! Able, we haven't been able to... <laughs> yes, we're good free. afternoon, good evening, and good night. I need to watch that. But anyway, thank you all so much for listening. We will see you, or, or no, well, you will we, listen we, to we us in the next one. You. And uh, yeah, thank we you for listening. Hear you. Goodbye. And have an awesome day, guys. Appointment. <laughs> Shut up, go away. Bye. Are you still here? Fuck off. Thank you. No, fuck you. Lady.